this episode of Doing Da Vinci. It's a cart and it's self-propelled. So this one sounds really simple. That's sarcasm. Leonardo's next challenge proves to be big trouble in a small package. Yeah! I hope the construction of the wood holds up. Flash continues his search for a partner he can work with. Rank amateurs make mistakes like this. Maybe that's what you have to say. And when the competition heats up, the rules don't mean a thing. They're going to cheat, and we are too. What is he doing over there? But is only one team on track for the race of the century? I've offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. If we lose, Frank, it's because of you. Which will these teams break first? The tape. See you on the racetrack, buddy. Or their necks. Damn! Leonardo da Vinci, the original Renaissance man. Master of science, master of the arts, master of war. His revolutionary designs were capable of unparalleled destruction. They were the most advanced weapons of their day. Yet no proof exists that they were ever constructed. We've assembled a team of four builders. These experts will put the 15th century master's plans to the test. Using the materials of da Vinci's time, Doing Da Vinci is presented by Microsoft People Ready Enterprise Solutions because it's everybody's business. That last bill beat me up. I know, right? Let's well, see what we've got this time. time. Or easier. Hey, hey Doc. There he is. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good, Good to see you. You too. Now, this is an exciting moment. I get to tell you what the next build is. Bring it on. We're almost ready. <laughs> <laughs> this one really looks like Leonardo and feels like Leonardo. It's a cart, and it's self-propelled. So this one sounds really simple. That's sarcasm. Um, yeah, you take a look at it. What you have here is a light cart, or if you'd like to, you can call it an automobile. Looks like the one I'm driving now. <laughs> it sort of it does. does. Yeah. If we take a look at the bottom drawing, this one is the driving mechanism in more detail. This would have been spring-powered in some way. And this is a big insight of Leonardo's that you could actually make a machine move without using human muscle power. You know, it's like clockwork or right. a wind-up like yeah. wind toy. Yeah. And it's not a completed sketch even. You're not going to have all the answers handed to you. You'll need to use your creativity and your engineering know-how to make it actually work and go. Good luck, Kerrigan. Okay, guys, don't let the size of this fool you. It might look like it's pretty small and manageable. This will be your toughest project yet. The doctor's been mentioning that this is probably one of the more difficult builds, and I don't see it. So let's do it. Okay, Doc, we'll do you proud. Thanks, Doc. We're building Da Vinci's self-propelled cart. As far as I could tell, it's probably the most complicated out of his machines. And, you know, these guys are looking at it like, oh, it's a piece of cake. It's definitely not a walk in the park. We've got the two larger gears in the back and then the coil, the spring coming out. It's complicated. I mean, there's a lot of parts, a lot of gear things to kind of there's, work out. Well, we can take care of it. We can do it. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, if you guys think you can knock it out, then I, you know, yeah, right. I don't know. To me, it looks small and manageable. If you think it's that easy, then why don't you do one and we'll do one? What do you think? Well, that sounds pretty good to me. I think we'll have no problem doing that, right, buddy? Sure. I mean, hey, if we do end up with two carts, we could end up racing. See who does go for it. Yeah, it'd be kind of faster. fun race. I mean, this is a great idea for a challenge. It's a pretty, pretty crazy build. And for them to think that it's going to be a piece of cake, I'm just going to sit back and laugh because I know it's not. I'll draw up our version of what the, the cart will be, right? right? Okay. But we'll start out with the same set of plans. Yes. We have to end up with something that looks sure. like, like the Vinci's you know. draw. Of course. It looks like we are going to go head to head. And in the end, whoever goes the fastest and looks the best is going to be uh, the best cart. So now the competition has been established. The losers have to clean the shop. That's good. I like Fair. that. Well, get your broom out. The game is on. <laughs> Let the games begin. I like okay. that. <clears throat> Whenever I make a bet, I don't lose. And uh, yeah, there's no doubt that uh, this cart will be going across that line first. The Da Vinci self-propelled cart is kind of scary when you go into it. Looking at this particular drawing, if you have two wheels here and a third one, if this is your steering wheel, how's this wheel gonna turn? So to me, it seems like either we do this wheel and these two, or a wheel here and these two. And maybe that's what he was thinking too. It's just that he was just kind of doodling some sketches here. The process that I'm going to go through on this construction here is first set up 
the frame, and the next thing is figuring out the size of the gears and getting them to mesh properly and finding the proper placement in the frame. Then the rest of the frame can kind of go together. The wheels can then fall into place. The springs, I still haven't really got that set in stone. The spring steel will be the last piece that goes in, and uh, that will kind of figure out what to use at the end. And then that kind of wraps it all up. Got some plans. What do we got here? Yeah, lay it on us. Here's our book. Here's Isn't your plans. Wait, and here's wait, our plan. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> we need a little more text. It's for everybody. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> Somehow I don't buy yeah, it. Yeah, I, I didn't buy that either. <laughs> don't you worry. I think it's a piece of cake because most of it's wood. And we'll just blast through this. OK, and we, and we get one of these, right? We get this yeah. thing where you press it's the button laptop. And it goes, it's called laptop. It's the computer. I feel sorry for you. Hey, Let's go to our corners. Ding, ding. You're going to lay out the plans. So we're starting fair. But you look at these parts. Each one of these parts may have 26 operations to each one of these parts. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. All these things that have to be just right because it's a much smaller build. So if you're off by a 16th, that could throw things off as well. It's a pretty crazy build. The first thing we do is we got to plane everything down so that it all is at least Reasonably square to start flat. with. Yeah. The problem I'm seeing is that standard 2x4 comes with these nice rounded edges here. And if I want this to be a finished part, I want to use material that's got a nice sharp edge to it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just planing down a piece of wood and see what it takes to make it square. And what are you working on? Beat and stick. <laughs> Oh, there's no doubt that Val's crazy. I mean, what he's doing yeah, it could be done with a Santa when it's finished, but don't say anything. Val just got done planing some of these, so I just want to mark them as to what part number they are, make sure we've got everything, so we're not grabbing the wrong piece of wood for the wrong drawing. Flash, there are a lot of pieces here. Well, we do need some metal help. I mean, there's oh, yeah, springs. Yeah. No, no, we're going to get Frankie in on this. What makes you think Frankie wants to work with us? My idea is to bring Frank in from that side. That should seal the deal, so to speak. Frank! Yeah. Quick question for you. We want you on our side. Yeah. You want me to be on your... Absolutely, on our team. Please. No one in this place seems to know how to do the spring coil doohickey thing. So we could use your help on that, for sure. Actually, you'll be doing all of that. Hey, you know, oh, okay. Val's surprising you know, again. Uh, private uh, conversation. We really don't need you here right now. Using Frank's a great idea for them because they're going to need it. I don't know how Frank can handle it very long, but we'll see. I'll around. be on your team as long as we can come to a, a reasonable agreement on how we do things. Okay. You know, as long as we do it my way. That means you want to make it. Let's deal. Okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Deal. Right now, we're working on the frame assembly for the Da Vinci cart. Jurgen's kind of made this intricate design, which Flash and I are wondering if it's even necessary, but we're going to follow the plan. It's more intricate than I think Da Vinci would have done it, because I don't think he would have been able to make precise cuts like this, but you know what? We are. Bye, guys. Take it easy. Good see night. Ya. They're happy to see us leave. They're, They're both gone. gone. Are they gone? Want to go check? Well, yeah. <laughs> you got to take advantage of the opportunities when they come to you. And so Flash and I went over to look at what they were doing today. I'll give you this. The plain wood looks good. Oh, no wonder why Frank loves them. They have everything labeled. Zero, zero, nine.